Hey everybody, this is Anthony from Into the Darkroom, and I'm going to show this video today about our Venn photo carts, ordering, payment options, shipping, handling, and all that good stuff. So the first thing you're going to do is log into the Venn photo cart backend, and you're going to click the setup button, and you're going to click the ordering tab. This is the first step to starting to set up the all your payment options and shipping options and so on. And the first thing we're going to ask you to do is we're going to ask you to put your email address in. And this is the email address that all the orders are going to be sent to. You will also have uh, all your orders in the back end of Vend, but this is going to uh, at least notify you that you have uh, orders in. You're in the second field, you're going to put either your company name or your name. It's, it's completely up to you. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to select your default country and your default currency. Right now we have the United States and we have the US dollar and that is actually going to specify what is going to be shown in this ta this uh, display over here which is all the United States tax representation and we'll get to that in a minute. Um, the next option is to allow international purchases. You have to decide if you want to allow for international purchases or not and you can select true or false in this area. You could also select if you want to allow for offline payment, meaning somebody can send you a check. Uh, they don't have to pay through credit card or through some sort of digital format. They can go ahead and send you a check or bring you cash. And some people like that and some people don't. So you can decide here if you want to offer that to your clients or not. Allowing PayPal standard means that people can actually pay through PayPal. This is not, this is not to submit a credit card. Um, this is to pay through PayPal. The next, the next option down is to enable credit card payment, and this will allow somebody to actually pay with their credit card through the Venn photo card system. So if you do that, you are going to want to have what's called an SSL certificate on your hosting. The SSL certificate is what's going to make tre uh, credit card processing secure. If you don't have an SSL certificate, you are not going to have secure processing and you definitely don't want to put yourself nor your clients at risk. Once you have, if you're going to accept credit card payment and you go to your host provider and you get your SSL certificate, which is pretty easy to do, uh, the next thing you want to do is you're going to want to force browser SSL and this is kind of a safeguard. So basically we're forcing the browser to check to see if your SSL certificate is there. If your SSL certificate is not it will not allow these unsecured payments to go through so that you guys aren't put at at risk. If the SSL certificate should expire, this is the perfect example of when this would protect you. So if for some reason your host provider doesn't just allow your SSL certificate to be constant, uh, they might ask you to update it every year. If they, if they ask you to update it every year and you let it expire, this is going to stop those transactions from going through unsecurely. And then it'll be a quick fix, fix. You call your hosting provider and get your SSL back up and running. So those are the options uh, as far as payment goes. The next option down is calculate and display shipping. You can actually have Venn calculate and display the shipping costs. You can also have them calculate and display the sales tax. Um, these two options here um, will then ask you for more information down here. So allow for local pickup allows people to come to your place of location and pick it up so you don't have to have shipping and allowing for discount codes allows people to use a discount code that you can create in another area of the vend backend and we'll get to that in another video but going back to calculating displaying uh, shipping and sales tax if you are going to do that you're going to have to fill out these numbers here which are shipping flat fee and handling flat fee um, so if you want it to be a flat fee where you want all your shipping to just cost 20 bucks across the board to everybody you can do that and if you have a handling fee or some sort of cost to actually ship something um, like you know you have an employee that's actually putting everything together and running to the post office and that costs you money you can offset that cost here with a handling fee um, you can have international handling flat fee which might cost you more to um, get your get your packages over to other countries so you can add that cost in that cost in here and then you have here a cart, a cart minimum value and a cart minimum count. Um, sometimes it's just not worth it to photographers to process an order of one photo. So a lot of people have asked us to put in these minimums. So you can say if it's one photo, I'm just not going to ship it and the cart will say, hey, you haven't met your minimum requirement. Or if it's, let's say, under $100, it might not be worth your time. So you can set it so that they have to have an order that's over $100 before you'll actually accept it and then process it through the lab and, and all that good stuff. 
If you don't want to do a flat fee for shipping and handling, um, you can go ahead and create a shipping flat rate that is a percentage of the subtotal. So if you know that you know the the more they order the more the heavier it's going to be the more it's going to cost as far as shipping then you can go ahead and just create a percentage to kind of cover your bases there um, you can you can see here that we have shipping is taxable and handling handling is taxable and that only applies to places that require you to do that uh, sometimes it's other countries sometimes it's states uh, so you should definitely check with your accountant and see if that applies to you I think most places in the United States it's not taxable but I'm not an accountant so you're gonna to want to talk to your accountant about that um, we have selected here default US states we are our US state is Arizona and uh, if you're a Canadian province and you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and select uh, what your province is and then uh, this tax GST VAT values those are mostly for like the European countries our European clients they use a different tax system than in the United States and um, if you are in the European uh, countries or, or a country that has those kinds of tax systems then you're gonna wanna go ahead and select true so that you can appropriately display your tax information uh, once you have all that filled out you're gonna wanna come over here to um, all the all the areas that you're going to want to actually put in a sales tax number again you're going to want to talk to your accountant and determine where you need to put your sales tax uh, for for us um, we, we have to represent in the different states uh, just a couple of states that we're represented in and we have to pay sales tax to them so we're going to want to put those percentages in here but all I have to do is find out where you're from and talk to your accountant and find out what the percentage is you click on it you edit it you put in your sales tax and you hit save and that sales tax could change from time to time um, sometimes it goes up sometimes it goes down so you're just going to want to be aware of that and you're going to want to like check in with your accountant periodically and make sure that that's up to date so that's how you set up all your your tax and shipping information and if you choose to accept payments through a digital format like PayPal or um, or um, you know a credit card system then you're gonna wanna come over to this payment options tab and this payment options tab is going to ask you for some basic information so you're gonna see your PayPal standard email if you're gonna be accepting uh, payments through PayPal then you can you PayPal standard then you can uh, put your email that's associated with your PayPal account if you're going to be accepting credit cards and use PayPal as your payment gateway then you're gonna to need to uh, sign up uh, with them to actually do that and they're gonna provide you with a username a password and what's called a signature and that's all with the PayPal uh, API and that's gonna allow Venn to tie into your payment gateway and process credit cards through them. We also have the option here besides PayPal website payments pro that you'll have to sign up for you have the option to use authorize.net and um, those are the two options that we have in there right now for payment gateways if you use authorize.net you're gonna need a net login and a net transaction key and you put those in here and then um, and then once you fill out all of the all of these three options for your authorize.net you'd be able to use authorize.net so once you fill all that out, go ahead and click save. And in essence, you are set up to start accepting payments in your uh, vend. Note that if you use any payment gateway, there are going to be some fees that are associated with them. So you're going to want to look around and see what works best for you and, and what's easiest for you. I know a lot of people really like PayPal. So we had, do have that PayPal option in here. So that's it in a nutshell. Um, we're going to go ahead and cover some of those other tabs in another video. I hope this was informative and I appreciate you watching. Thanks again.